Look at this. Extrude that out again. And bevel it out. And uh, keep losing my front view. There we go. Something like that. And you probably have to play with it a little bit. Um, say OK to that. And you may have to go to vertex mode. But part of the problem is, is this neighbor is kind of on a whole different rhythm. Uh, this neighbor is totally upper arm. So what we probably need to do is grab all eight of these guys and make them not just upper arm, but helper also. Maybe uh, how much helper? Probably a point five. Let's see what it looks like. And that's quite a bit better. So again, you get back to those balancing acts. The helper bones um, don't parent-child relationship where the multi-res is the child of body mesh. And anything else here? I'm just looking. I think I might have forgotten. I just want to mention one thing here. The last time I did this, it didn't work. And I mentioned this in the book also. If you have any straight vertices in this mesh, you will get an error. And uh, that error is going to cause it to not create your levels of detail properly. So you can't have any straight vertices. That's the bottom line. Um, anyway, I'll move on here. Uh, everything should be in place. We'll do the DTS export, the whole shape. Okay, I wanted to show you how to make a run cycle. Very simple run cycle, but effective. Starting with the biped in the root position. And this file is called astronaut run anim start .max. So the thing about this file is that the character, the biped is in the start position. You don't need the mesh for this one, even though you could use it if you wanted to, and then discard it before you export. And this one's got a template set up. It's got them in grayed out a little bit so that you uh, can tell the difference between the character the biped and the, uh, the template. So I'll start off by um, figuring out what I'm going to do. The, you can see the right foot is up. Uh, the right leg is green, so that really helps the, the blue and green on the biped object. So I'll pick this uh, right foot and go to my motion panel. And what you want is the track selection. See, track selection is available, and key info is available. Those two rollouts. Okay, so here we are in the game. Third person, first person view. I can shoot this guy. That's that's the uh, that's the robot character. Most of when he gets shot, he doesn't die or anything. He's really only got. Uh, like a root and a run animation. Then uh, notice this guy is kind of bobbing up and down because of the way that the cam is set up and the um, balance box is set up. So make sure you do that right. Now if I go to uh, F11 and world window and world editor creator and shapes, I can go pull in some ammo. So I can go to ammo. And click on either one of those types of ammo, and there it is. It's got a little bit of glow on it. These ammo are the same. I can go to health and health patch and pull that in, and that's what that looks like. And you can move these around that way. Um, you can also go to, let's collapse that and go to static shapes under data way down at the bottom here. You've got uh, barrels, oil drum, and that's. Um, Another one of the things we've built in the book. And let's just bring that down a little bit. And um, one more thing. There's a, there is a uh, animated folder where we put the platform, which is just a really bare bones um, example of an animated static shape, or an animated simple shape. So this thing should move for us. Oh, actually, uh, I'm glad I brought that up. If you've got something that's um, animated, you've got to insert it. Let's just delete that. You've got to insert it from shapes. It's kind of a common mistake people make, which I just made. So that's going to be under miscellaneous platform. Okay. So that should move around a little bit. 
Doesn't even have a material on it. And now if I hit F11, I'm back in the game, but I may not be able to run unless I hit two more times. And so I just loaded up my ammo, and then right here, see how that's got a collision detection on it? So I can't get past that barrel. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. For the full version of the book CD with uh, 90 minutes of video tutorials, check out Creating Game Art for 3D Engines, available at Amazon, or check out 3dcognition.com for more information about the book, and also keep in mind GarageGames.com, the makers of the Torque Engine.